About five years ago, an absolutely amazing discovery was made in South Africa. What emerged were two of the most complete early human skeletons ever discovered. These things lived about two million years ago. These fossils were discovered right at a point where I had had an opportunity to study all of the human fossil foot bones ever discovered. I was sent a cast of this heel bone, which was attached to this ankle right here, and it absolutely floored me. This thing looked different from any other fossil I'd ever seen before. The skeleton had a human spine, had a human pelvis, but had chimpanzee feet. What was absolutely striking about this fossil was the shape of its heel. And we found fossils that go back over three million years old of early human ancestors, and they look very human-like. So the argument's been that humans have been walking in this heel-striking pattern for a long time. This fossil here, which is only two million years old, it should look more human-like, does not. But how did it walk? I didn't really know. He came with a puzzle, and so I was interested because he was one of my best students. He was one of the few students I'd had from anthropology in my class. Professor Kenneth Holt in the physical therapy department asked about the possibility of this creature walking with what's called hyperpronation, landing on the outside of a twisted in foot and then having most of its lower limb roll towards the inside. On a human, the heel bone is kind of flattened out on the bottom because we're upright on it. On a chimpanzee, it's got a kind of a ridge shape to it. The interesting thing was that this was a clearly a chimpanzee foot because of that chimpanzee shape of the heel. And yet this thing was locomoting. How could it do both things? How could it be both a walker and a climber? And why would it? That's different from evolution. These skeletons force us to consider that it has not been a linear, singular pathway towards the human condition from a chimpanzee-like one. Instead, along the way, there were many different experiments in what it was like to be an upright, walking primate. Seeing fossils like this, it tells me that there's so much more out there that we don't understand. There's so much more out there still to discover.